Welcome. This video will tell you a bit more about how the device works. Look at the screen. There are three windows open and in each one of these windows we are connected to the same device. The device works as kind of a server for all computers, phones or tablets connected. Let's look at the ping. It should be the same in all three windows. Now, look at this. When you switch on one of the alarms in one window, it will also switch on in the other windows. You can switch on all of the alarms in one window and the same will happen in the others. This is not because uh, data is sent between the windows, but because data is sent to the programmable uh, al alarm from one of the windows, there it is processed and a response with the status of the alarms is sent out by the, r the alarm to all the windows. Now switch this settings in two of the windows to two seconds. It should be at half a second in the other window. Now if you switch off or on the alarms, you will see that the other windows react slower. This is because this setting defines how often the software asks the relay to update its status. If you set the windows back to half a second, you will see that they respond much quicker. All users of the device will see exactly the same. It doesn't matter if they are connected to the device by a PC or a mobile phone. How quickly they see the changes happening in the device depends only on the quality of their internet connection. You can open another software window and the results will be the same. Each of the windows communicates with the device independently from the others. As you can see, the same thing happened in the fourth window. Now, instead of the 147 pin code, enter the 369 pin code in each of the windows. In this mode, the display changes color and the software now sends out 10 packets per second. The device is now getting so many data that the ping may jump from time to time as the device has a lot of data processing, encrypting and sending out responses to do. However, these jumps are small and do not have any perceptible negative influence on the work of the device. 
The fact that the device works fine when receiving 40 packets per second means that 40 different people could be connected to the relay using their computers or mobile devices at the same time with the software in the standard mode sending out one packet per second. If you open a fifth window and put, in the put it in the 369 mode, you will see that the jumps in pink are now more frequent but the device is still fully operational. Now, try resetting the device. Once you press the reset button in one of the windows, the other windows will soon lose contact with the device. When the device resumes normal operation, each software window will reconnect to the, uh, to the alarm, which will now have its settings cleared. The input and output configuration, logic functions, etc. haven't been modified, but the alarms are automatically switched off during a reset and you need to switch them back on again. To help you remember where you assigned different sensors and other things, you can assign names to different elements in the main window. For example, right-click on one of the variables. A window will pop out and in that window you can enter the name you want to give to this variable. Once you have entered the name, simply click OK. Now when you put the mouse cursor on that variable, after a couple of seconds the balloon with its name will appear. If you want to clear all names, open one window, check the Clean All checkbox and click OK. Thank you for watching, goodbye.